JICA has been supporting uh, government of Uganda since 1990s. JICA is aiming to improve the logistic connectivity we call the Northern Corridor, which starts from the Mombasa in Kenya through Uganda, then adjacent countries. This project is coming with the three interventions. So number one is widening of the roads. There'll be a flyover between Queensway and the Zambia Road. But we also have an underpass, a road under the road. JICA is one of the key financing partners from which government of Uganda is able to access loan and grant. The challenge we get on our tourists, it is the traffic jam. If they want to go to airport like evening time, it was a, a big problem. They've been taking even three hours. So even the tourists would have been scared of it. The clock tower junction was identified as the most congested and need an urgent improvement of the junction. The design of the flyovers, the foundations, were designed to be piles. Piling is quite unique in that you have to bore down into the soil. The screw pile is the this is Japanese technology. The blade is welded to the steel tube. They are load-bearing piles. They pick their strength from the bearing layer. So when we are driving them, we don't look at the range, we look at the, have they reached the bearing layer? So have they reached the foundation, the rock, the hard ground? Each pile can support more weight so that we can reduce the number of piles. So we use the technology to minimize this area in the middle of this high density area. The first flyover in Uganda. So I'm just very happy to be a part of the team. If you are going to Mufana Road or you want to approach Ginger Road from Queensway, you no longer be required to move the common traffic. You lift up between Queensway and Sambia Road, and then you go under between Sambia Road and Mukwano. The project is going to turn around the time for movement. I think it should be able to be done in less than five minutes. We have did a lot of flooding in the clock tower area and Mukwano Road. The season raining, it is too bad our cars was getting st stuck on water and you are losing a car, you are losing a, even a client. Currently what we have are five cars, which have diameter of around 900 millimeters, which you can move through, which are very difficult to clean, and also which are clogged. This project is going to construct ruined structures, which are big box cars. And these box culverts will capture most of the storm water which used to flood that area. And therefore, to solve that problem of flooding, and therefore, not interfere with traffic flow. I've been engaged in this project for seven years. And uh, in total, I think more than 50 engineers and technicians have been working for this project in Japan and also in Uganda. Majority of key staff on the side of the contractor and also on the side of the consultant actually are local Ugandan engineers, technicians. The few expatriates come lead them to deliver this project. Directly, there are up to around 600 jobs which have been created on this project. But if you include those indirect ones, then it can be well over 1,000 people who are involved in construction of this project.
For this project, also we're excited about to reconstruct the current clock tower. It will be light up and put more trees and then people can relax and can approach to the tower. And then in combination with the new pedestrian bridge at the junction, we can create very new, modern, attractive landscape. So that way, by separating the pedestrian traffic from motorists, chances of collision, accidents are going to reduce. The lot one uh, is affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. So I have to admit that the current we are experiencing the significant uh, delay. Hopefully we can finish lot one by end of 2022. We're going to discuss with Jaika how we can quickly embark on lot two so that it's a smooth transition for us to have a holistic solution to this problem. Whole nation going to get a benefit directly or indirectly. The completion of the Lot 1 and the Lot 2 will complement the linkage to the other expressways.